Campus. We'll be right back after this message. Paul McGee is a young man who has a passion for painting, but what makes Paul different from other artists is that he loves painting authentic replicas of the past, and in particular, our magnificent Chesapeake Bay and the harbor. Well, it seems like I've been interested in this line of work since a very early age. My father, who was a dentist, he painted as a hobby for 30 years and uh, in the meantime had six children and uh, at one time or another got each of the six kids to try their hand at painting like Daddy did for a hobby. And I just seemed to stick with it. I want to recreate uh, the harbor of Baltimore as it appeared 50 or more years ago. I will first do a lot of reading to uh, find out what the activities I should be portraying. Um, you know, most of it is commercial activity uh, taking place at the waterfront. I'll try to uh, talk to folks that were actually there since I obviously was not there. I have to live all this vicariously through my research. And they can usually give me ideas as far as what the story behind a piece should be and also critical things such as the coloration of objects which is lost in the world of black and white photography. I feel kind of like I have a bit of a duty to maintain accuracy on this because uh, somebody might be uh, having to use this as their reference in years to come. So I shouldn't drop the ball in 1988 and, and fudge something. I try to you know, maintain accuracy. I guess what I'm trying to show is the, the peacetime everyday activity because a lot of that just was not recorded. Uh, photographs or in our written history. You know, a good part of our written history is devoted to wars and politics, and there's a lot of other good stuff that happened in between, so that's what I'm trying to, I guess, glorify in my paintings. President Reagan has several of Paul McGee's paintings in his collection. When we come back, I'll have a closing thought. 